I have seen a lot of crazy people in my life, but my potential FMIL is the absolute worst person I have ever met. I, 30F, have been with my boyfriend, 31 meters, for 8 months now. For the first few months everything was amazing. He is the sweetest and most caring man I have ever been with. He likes to surprise me with fun dates and flowers for no apparent reason. The biggest surprise of all though was, when I met his mother. I met his parents for the first time a few months ago. The first thing FMIL said to me, when I walked in the door was a you Jewish. I'm not, and I'm not particularly religious, but I was raised Catholic. Once I told her this it was the beginning of the madness. She immediately stopped talking to me, and acted as if I didn't exist. I was extremely nervous about meeting my boyfriend's parents, so this broke my heart. I was determined to make a good impression, so I kept trying to connect with her. This was a huge mistake and I should have just let it go. Once we were all seated for dinner, she finally decided to try and make conversation. I have naturally red hair and she asked me if my parents have the same color. I told that I have the same hair as my mother. She then had the audacity to ask me does the carpet match the drapes? I had no idea how to respond and just sat there stunned. Seeing my reaction, she said don't worry I will just ask my son about it later. I looked over at my boyfriend who seemed equally as shocked, but he didn't say anything. She then started to go on about my hair being too curly. She told me that I really need to learn how to run a brush through my hair and think about my appearance more when I'm out with her son. Then when I didn't eat much at dinner, she gave me her version of a compliment. I was told it was good that I'm watching what I eat because it would be a shame if I got any bigger. This was just my first meeting with this woman. As soon as I got into my car I burst into tears until I got home. My boyfriend was texting me and apologizing for his mother's behavior, but the damage was done and I told him I needed time to think. He went into apology overload after this and started sending flowers to my office every day and leaving me messages begging me to talk to him. I finally agreed and we went out to dinner. He told me he spoke with his mother about her inappropriate comments and he swore it would never happen again. With this reassurance I decided to give it another chance. Fast forward 2 weeks to when he invited me to come to a family birthday party. This time I would also be meeting his sisters and grandparents. His grandparents and sisters are awesome people. They asked me normal questions about my job, family, and friends. His mother seemed to be avoiding me throughout the evening and honestly, I was okay with that. I went to grab something from my purse and noticed that it was not where I left it. I looked everywhere but I could not find it. I went and asked my boyfriend and he began to help me look. He then got a strange look on his face and he quickly went upstairs. I couldn't hear a lot of yelling begin upstairs. He came back down holding my purse after a few minutes and told me that we were leaving. Once we got in the car, I asked him what was going on. His mother had taken my purse so that she could see my driver's license. She intended to try and run a background check on me. He told me she had told him this earlier, but honestly had thought she was joking. I thought that it was best if I avoided any of his family functions for the time being. This worked out great for a while and he went to any of his family parties alone. He would ask me each time before leaving if I was sure that I didn't want to go, but I always declined. Last week his family had their family reunion and he asked me to please come with him. I was very reluctant, but considering there would be so many people present, I didn't think she would pull anything. When we got there, everything was going great. I met his extended family and got to catch up with his sisters. His mother did seem to be shooting me death glares all night, but I brushed it off. Soon she came over and joined a table I was seated at with his sisters and some cousins. The conversation was pleasant as we were talking about his sister's children. His sister has a daughter who is 12 and is the same age as my niece. I then showed his sister a picture of my niece on my phone. His mother took a look at the screen and began to laugh. She told me she hopes that if me and her son ever have children, that they don't look like my niece. My niece is beautiful by the way, and she is only 12 years old. What kind of monster attacks a 12 year old child's appearance? This was my breaking point and I went off like a volcano. I started to scream at her and told her she is the most evil person I have ever had to disadvantage to meet. 
I told her as I ever did have children with her son she can be certain she will never meet them because hell is too far to travel to. I'm not 100% certain exactly everything that I said, but from what his younger sister later said, it was epic. She began to play the victim and wailed that I had just misunderstood her joke. My boyfriend came rushing over at this point and she threw herself into his arms telling him I'm a horrible woman and he needed to throw me out right now. He told her that wasn't going to happen and to stop making a fool of herself. She seemed to accept this for a moment and sat back down. She just kept sobbing that I just didn't understand how to take a joke. Then something in her snapped as she noticed something that my boyfriend was holding in his hand and began to have another meltdown. I didn't understand what was happening at this point and just stood there watching a grown woman pitch a fit like a toddler. None of what she was saying made any sense to me as it was mostly just incoherent screaming, but I did pick up on many derogatory comments directed my way. My boyfriend then told me we were leaving and told me to grab my things. As I started to get ready FMIL made a lunge for my boyfriend's hand and grabbed the small box he was holding. She then looked me dead in the eyes and said, you will never have this ring you little beach. She ran outside and threw the box down a storm drain. Turns out that my boyfriend was intending on proposing to me. He had just obtained his grandmother's ring while we were at the reunion. His grandmother is completely heartbroken because now her ring is down a storm drain instead of continuing on in the family as she had always wanted. I don't know where to go from here. I'm devastated, confused, and exhausted. Can I ask him to never see his mother again? Is that my place to say something like that? I'm sorry that my story is so long, but I really needed get this rant off my chest. This event took place a few years ago, when my little sister was turning 5. She wanted to have a party at the local Chuck E. Cheese with our small cousins and a few friends. Unbeknownst to us, Chuck E. Cheese is the stomping ground of countless entitled parents and their hell spawn. The cast. Me, amazing big brother, 16 at the time of the story. Mom, mom, M, the star of the show. Eck, M's little hell spawn, he was around 10, I think. Semicolon. The scene opens on a typical Chuck E. Cheese. It was a Saturday, late morning, not too busy yet. This particular Chuck E. Cheese has two small party rooms and our party was in one of those rooms. The other party room was empty. We were the only birthday party happening at the particular time. We arrived with my sister about 30 minutes early to set up and make sure we were there before guests arrived. My mom had purchased the best birthday party package they had. Lots of choices of food, a huge bucket of tokens and a large cake. The room looked great with decorations and balloons. The large token bucket was sitting in the middle of the table, near the cake. My sister was so excited for her party. She took a few tokens and went with my mom to play a few games before her friends and our cousins arrived. She was approached by Ek almost immediately, and he asked her, and my mom, if he could have a few tokens. My sister was learning to share in preschool, so she immediately handed him a token with a huge smile, at the same time that my mom was opening her mouth to tell the kid no. We had a lot of guests coming, and she wanted to save the tokens for them. Ek took the token with a frown, and said that's it. One freaking token? My sister looked confused, thought she had done something wrong, and went to hand him the rest of the tokens in her hand, about 10 altogether. My mom stopped her and told Ek to be happy with what he was given. Ek flipped her off, kids these days, and took off to play a game, while my mom just shook her head in annoyance. She's been to Chuck E. Cheese before with my sister, and she knows kids can be little buttheads when it comes to tokens. She told my sister not to give him any more tokens and they played some games. End of story, right? Wrong. The party guests had started to arrive, so they headed back to the party room to greet everyone. In total, we had 5 of our little cousins and 5 kids from preschool, a total of 10 guests. I knew all of the kids at the party pretty well, so I was surprised when a kid I didn't know, Ek, walked into the party room and took a seat at the end of the table. My mom immediately looked pissed and walked over to confront the kid. Mom, this is a private birthday party. You cannot be in here. Ek, my mom said I could come and join the party, so that's what I'm doing. Can I have some tokens? Mom, sighs heavily, 
You mom is not in charge of this party, and we didn't invite you. You cannot have any tokens. Please go back to your mom. Ek, she left. She said I should join the party and she will come back for me later. My mom has this little vein on the side of her forehead that pops out when she's getting really angry. That bad boy was popping hard when X said that. Mom, she left. Another sigh. Listen, this party is private. You were not invited. Leave this room now or I will go and have a talk with your mom. Ek, gonna be kind of hard with her not being here. He smirked when he said this, and I was starting to get angry at the way he was talking to my mom. I walked over to him, and leaned down near his ear, so that only he could hear me. Me, listen kid, this is my sister's party, and we do not want you here. Get the hell out. Ek, you all are racist. You don't want the black kid at your party. Yeah, he was black, and we are white. Me, pointing at another guest, who is black and my sister's friend. Yeah dude, we are racist. Ek, she's an Uncle Tom. Just give me some freaking tokens, so I can go play games. He reaches for the bucket, grabs a few quickly, and takes zero ff. My mom starts to go after him, but then shakes her head and changes her mind. He only got a few tokens and he's gone, so she tries to calm down and move on. You can feel some tension in the room as everyone watches the kid leave, but luckily my sister is having too much fun greeting guests and eyeing her presence that she doesn't seem to notice. An employee enters the room with pizzas and sandwich platters and the mood lightens as the kids start to eat food and chat. I stopped stewing about the a-hole kid, and I'm watching my sister enjoy her party, while I stuff my face with questionable pizza. I see someone enter the room out of the corner of my eye and my temper flares as I see Ek has returned, and is reaching for a sandwich from the platter. I reach out and slap his hand away. Me, dude, what the heck? Get away from our food. Ek, my mom said I can join this party. I'm hungry. He pushes an actual party guest aside and continues to reach for food. Me, listen kid, your mom does not get to say you can join this party. Get out. X starts to respond but an employee walks in to see how the food is tasting. X sees her and runs from the room. Mom to employee, that kid keeps trying to join our party. Would you be able to find his parent and get it to stop? Employee, absolutely. I will take care of it. She leaves the room. After informing us that Chucky will be arriving shortly to dance with the birthday girl, the huge creepy mouse shows up shortly after the employee leaves and everyone but me leaves the party room to go dance by the stage. I could hear happy birthday being sung while I played on my phone. Thinking the room was empty, Ek ran in and grabbed a piece of pizza and a handful of tokens. Me, dude, what the hell? I told you to get the hell out of here. Ek turned around, shocked to see me, gave me the finger and ran out. With pizza and tokens. I had had enough. I called my mom back into the room and told her that Ek had stolen from us again. She was pissed. She motioned for the same employee while I stalked out of the room to find ex mom. There were about 10 families in the restaurant at that time and I asked each one if they had a son that was bothering our party. No one claimed Ek. Thinking that was odd, and unable to find Ek, I headed back to the party room to my mom and the employee. Employee, we cannot seem to locate the boy's parent and he cannot leave without an adult. My manager called the police. We have a problem with parents leaving their young kids here unattended for us to babysit, because they know kids can't leave without matching hand stamps. I started to tell my mom that I couldn't find Ek, but then I saw him on the dance floor pushing my sister away from Chucky, so he could dance next to him. My sister fell on her, but and started crying. Son of a bee. I'm extremely protective of my sister and I ran over there, and grabbed the kid by the arm, to yell at him for hurting her. As soon as I touched him, a hand grabbed my shoulder, and spun me around. M had returned in time, to see me grab her kid. M, what the hell do you think you're doing? Don't grab my kid. My mom and the employee ran over. Mom, don't grab my kid. Your kid has been disturbing our birthday party this entire time, stealing food and tokens from us. M huffed. I told him he could join the party. What's one more kid? You racist people are all the same. Not wanting the little black kid around your party. The employee and creepy mouse tried to intervene, stepping between the moms. Employee, ma'am, you are not supposed to leave your child unattended here. You can't just leave the building. 
He's been disturbing other guests and now he's pushed this little girl. M. My son is the one who is being abused here. I saw this big kid assault him. I will sue this entire place for harassment. If you don't give me some kind of compensation. Racist freaking restaurant. You all are racist. Black people have a right to be here the same as you all. Employee. Ma'am. You can be here, but you have to stay with your child. My manager had to call the police because we couldn't find you and your son was left here alone. M. You all called the police. Seriously? He wasn't even alone for that long. He was with the birthday party. It's not like he wasn't being watched. Mom. He was not with our party. He was disturbing our party and stealing from us. Employee. Trying to defuse the situation. Listen. I will tell my manager to cancel the police and you all can stay as long as you reimburse these people for the stolen items and do not leave your son alone again. M. I ain't giving them crap. They have a lot. They can spare some for my kid. He's been good all week and he deserves some fun. My mom just wanted them to go away so that we could get back to our party. Listen, she doesn't have to reimburse us. Just stay away from the party room so we can get back to my daughter's birthday. M. Scowled at my mom. Your party is stupid and racist anyway. She grabbed her kid and walked away. The employee apologized and came back with another bucket of tokens to compensate us for the ones that were stolen and we assumed the issue was resolved. My sister perked up when my mom started to hand tokens out to the kids and soon everyone scattered to play games. We were halfway through the party and I was looking forward to going home. I cannot tolerate a whole kids for very long. 15 minutes passed quietly, with no further interaction from Ek or M, so I grabbed some tokens and headed off to play a zombie shooting game that I like. Gotta love killing zombies. I saw Ek bugging the party kids for tokens, but the parents were with their children as they played games and they all told him to buzz off. Minutes later, while I'm battling the undead, Ek runs by with a brightly wrapped box and joins his mom in a booth by the window. That little effer had actually stolen one of my sister's freaking presents. And he was starting to open it, while his mom sat and watched. I ran over to him and by then, he had the package unwrapped, and was scowling at the contents. Ek, it's a freaking doll. I don't want this, I want something better. M, go and get another one then. I reached them, and snatched the doll from Ek. This is my sister's present. How the hell do you think you can go in there, and open her presents? M. There are a lot of presents in there, and you all have been very rude to Ek. He can have a present, if he wants one. Go and get another one, Ek. You don't want a stupid doll. Me. No he cannot go and get another one. These do not belong to him. Ek takes off towards the party room and I look at the mom, before taking off after him. Seriously? You are seriously going to let him go grab another one? Believable believable. I ran after the kid, while M continued to call me a racist, and found him grabbing a present. That wasn't the worst part though. My sister's cake had been tossed on the floor by the table, and was a chocolate heap of mess. I grabbed the present from Ek, pushed him out of the room and panicked. My sister was going to be so upset to see her cake on the floor. Forgetting Ek for a second, I flagged down the employee, told her what happened, and she promised to have another cake on the table before the party guests came back. Another employee quickly came in to clean up the mess, and, true to her word, another cake was on the table before my sister returned. The employee said she was going to kick Ek and M out and left. My sister and friends returned to the room 10 minutes later for cake and presents. I was still fuming, and so was my mom, when I told her what Ek had just done. But they were being kicked out, so we decided to let it go. My sister had no idea what had happened, and even though the doll was not wrapped, she was thrilled to receive it. She opened her presents and everyone ate cake without incident and the party was finally winding down. There was only one more thing for her to do. This Chuck E. Cheese had a ticket blaster, a tube the kid stands in, and blasts of air shoot tickets in the air around the kid and they get to keep whatever they can grab in a certain amount of time. This was part of our party package and my sister was really looking forward to it. We all gathered by the blaster and my sister was going in when Ek and M showed up out of nowhere. Ek went to push my sister aside and tried to get into the tube. M, my kid gets to go in there first, since you all have been so damn mean to him. Employee, ma'am, you were told to leave. This is for the birthday kid only. 
I'm going to have to alert my manager if you do not take your kid and leave immediately. Eck, start this thing up. I want some tickets he tried to close the door while my sister stood just in the doorway, confused. My mom grabbed her as the kid tried to shut the door on her. M, start it up right now so he can get some tickets. You all are some serious racists here. We are going to sue all of you. Eck, start the effing machine up already. I want some tickets. No, he didn't say effing. The employee radioed for her manager to come and help her. We are going to call the police again, ma'am. If you don't leave, you are trespassing. M, like hell I am. I'm a customer same as these people. My kid deserves to get tickets. It's not fair that the girl gets to do it and he doesn't. She doesn't even look old enough to be in there. Finally the manager shows up and tells M that he has called the police again and they are on their way. Eck refused to exit the ticket blaster tube and was yelling obscenities at everyone, including the small kids. The parents of those kids took their kids back to the party room to get away from the scene and my sister went with them, crying again. Me and my mom stared down M, telling her to get her brad and leave, which just made her madder. M, go ahead and call the damn police. She called us a few choice names before deciding to grab her kid and leave before the cops arrived. Eck was screaming at her, calling her names, because she was making him leave without going in the ticket blaster. The manager followed behind them to make sure they left, and they were finally gone. Mom, about damn time. My sister came back out, had a blast in the ticket blaster, and managed to grab a special ticket worth 2000 tickets. That made her happy and all past issues were quickly forgotten by her and her party guests. They picked out overpriced toys at the ticket counter, we packed up the food and presents, and got ready to leave. All in all, the kids managed to have a good time. Me and my mom, not so much. The manager returned to our group. And was angry as he told us that someone, wonder who, had smeared poop on the walls of the boys bathroom and an employee had to clean it up. Disgusting. Chuck E. Cheese was kind enough to reimburse us for the total cost of the party, food, cake, and tokens. They apologized for not handling the situation better and said that M and her bratty kid were permanently banned from the location. It would have been satisfying to watch M get arrested, but oh well. We went back to that location a few times over the years and never had another problem. Thanks for reading. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, a like and a comment would mean a lot in YouTube's world. Share with us if you would have done things differently. And don't forget to support the original authors with an upvote. Links are in the description. Peace out and catch you tomorrow.